Hey there guys, this is Brian, aka Invisible Duty, and a quick fire tip I wanted to give all of you about making your map quote unquote bigger. So um, there's a utility up here where it will tell you basically how much space you have left on your map. So this is uh, my map I'm making currently for my next iteration of Zombie Punch, Zombie Punch 2. And um, you'll see that, you know, I have, because I have a mountain and a plateau and this little cliff here and a pretty wide island, it's pretty much almost at max um, capacity. I can only, I really could only add a tiny bit more extra onto this. So, what do you do when uh, you want to make your world seem even bigger? Well, uh, so there's one thing you can do, and for some people this may be kind of obvious, so um, please, if, if you've already thought of this, no hate mail. <laughs> um, but anyways, what you can basically do is your characters, you just uh, reduce their scaling down to, I found somewhere between 60 and 70%. Looks, uh, that looks pretty good. So so what I do is I basically, uh, it you know, it takes a bit of extra time, but if you go through and change the scaling of every character and every prop by, um, you know, down to about 60 or 70 then it makes it look like there's more space because everything's smaller. Now, one quick thing that you should do and you should note is when you make everything smaller, um, especially for moving characters, they're going to move still at the same speed as they were when they're bigger. So they're going to, basically that means that if you're, you know, 40% smaller than you were before, it's still going to take you the same amount of time to walk across that island. So make sure you also go in to uh, properties and to movement and change the ground speed. I changed mine down to 3.5 for ground speed, 30 for acceleration. That seems about good. Uh, you can get it down even more than that if you want. Uh, but yeah, that's just a, a quick way to make things seem larger. Um, and and if, it, if you go below 60%, here's what happens. Uh, the ground that you're building on these things start to look like, you know, the size of trees for you. So um, don't go below 60%. So that's just, you know, one way you can theoretically make things look 40% bigger uh, or make the world look 40% bigger than it is. So uh, check me next time. I'll be posting a few different videos about Project Smart Spark, not Smart Spark, in the future.